What is going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Jacob Scott. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today we're going to be taking a look at Infinity Photo for the iPad. And is it a good Photoshop alternative? Is it worth the money? Let's go find out right now. All right, so I have Infinity Photo open here on my iPad Air 2. And I'm pretty much just going to walk you through a basic correction. So let's go. All right, so this is a raw photo here. So I'm in my develop panel. As you can see in the develop panel, there's a ton of features. I have blemish removal, gradients, um, all of my basic corrections here. I don't want to change that. And uh, I got split toning, curves, black and white correction, all that stuff right there. But pretty much, like I said, I'm just going to do a basic correction. So I'm just going to jump in here and do a basic correction and a pretty basic grade on here. Bring up the exposure, bring up the contrast. And of course we got histograms up here too, which is really nice. Overall, I pretty much like that exposure right there. Temperature I feel needs to be warmed up just a little bit here. That's overall looking pretty good right off the bat, I think. Um, let's bring the saturation down just a touch and bring our vibrance up. So I can also go over here and hit and see our before and after. Now from here, I'm pretty much done with this here, except I might bring my highlights up just a touch. Now with some of the lower end iPads, like this is the iPad Air 2, um, it will take a second or two to register sometimes. Um, so like this, there we go. See, it finally just jumped and went right through. But just gonna bring my highlights up some about there. Now from here, I'm gonna jump into my split toning. Do this here real quick. All right, so pretty much I'm pretty happy with that right off the bat. Maybe not so much blue in the shadows. Or if we wanted to go crazy, we could do that, but definitely not what I wanted to do. And from here, I think I'm just gonna bring in the blacks just a little bit more, the black point up. And if I wanna make even smaller corrections, I can go in here and I only want that to be at one. Now let's bring it to two right in the middle. All right, so that there already I think looks pretty good and I'm just gonna hit develop and wait for this here to develop. All right, so it's developed. It probably took about 20 seconds or so, if even that. Now I'm here in here now and I have even more tools available to me. So now I can add text, I can mask this and I have some more color options. So from here, um, I pretty much kind of already like the grade that's already on it. Uh, but if I wanted to jump into HSL and individually adjust colors I could do that from here so if I wanted to individually say adjust maybe the color of his pants he's wearing I could change that there but I'm not going to do that and if I double tap with two fingers it will undo what I might do though is come up here to the yellows and take a more almost more to a more uh, fallish sort of tone along with the greens as well. So if I wanted to make them really blue, I could bring them that way. If I wanted to sort of make them a little more brown, take them right there. Yeah, I think I like that right there. So that's pretty much all I'm gonna do there. And that's pretty much a basic correction. And like I said too, if I wanna go over here, I can add some text. So let's say, uh, I'll just write yes to, along with some third party apps, I can get uh, more fonts. One that I often use is this one right here, if I can find it. So here I can add text. So this is really good too. If you're making YouTube thumbnails, anything on the go, you can definitely do that with this. And for the most part, if an iPad is all you got to edit on, this is probably going to be the best and most powerful thing there is out there right now. But that's pretty much a basic edit. Hope you enjoyed it. So that is it for this video. Be sure to go down, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification right next to it, hit that like button. And if you're using Infinity Photo or if you have any questions about it or if, you know, leave your opinions about it, drop them in the comments below and I will be sure to try and respond to you as quick as I possibly can. I will see you in the next one. Also, don't know if you noticed, but I'm back to this screensaver.